Hello, in this video, I will be talking about HER2 low breast cancer. This is in response to a comment on one of our previous videos. Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content many times in response to questions or requests that you've had to our previous videos. So let me just review what's HER2 and what it means, how we test for it, and then I'll talk about what is HER2 low breast cancer and what it means in terms of treatment and outcomes. So HER2 stands for Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2, and you can see why we abbreviate it, HER2. This is both a protein and a gene. So the gene codes for the protein, and you'll, when we talk about HER2 positive, we're generally talking about tumors that are both positive for the protein, which we test using a test, we test for using a test called immunohistochemistry, or IHC, and also positive for the gene, multiple copies of the gene, and then we talk about that using a procedure like fluorescent in situ hybridization, or FISH. And until recently, tumors were described as HER2 positive when both of those tests were positive, both for the gene and the protein. And now, recently, we've discovered there's a particular type of breast cancer called HER2 low. And we describe a tumor as being HER2 low when the immunohistochemistry is one or two plus and the FISH test is negative. There's some other ish tests as well, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to refer to it as FISH. So normally when people have a HER2 positive tumor, and I'm saying normally, just meaning over all the years of work that we've done, the HER2 is three plus positive and the FISH test is positive. And that's what we call HER2 positive. Then there's HER2 low, where the HER2 is only one plus or two plus, and the, the ISH test or the FISH test is negative. And about half of breast cancers will fall into this HER2 low category. So what do we know about HER2 low? Well, in the adjuvant setting, in the early stage breast cancer setting, we know that trastuzumab, HER2-directed therapy, and pertuzumab do not work. We've studied this for decades now, and we don't treat people with trastuzumab or pertuzumab who are HER2 low because they don't work. In the setting of people with advanced or metastatic disease, we have a new class of drug called the antibody drug conjugates. And the way these work is they take the antibody to the tumor, to the tumor that has that HER2 1 or 2 plus, and they bring along the drug with it. So it's another form of targeted therapy, just like things targeted towards the estrogen receptor, just like things targeted towards the HER2 in HER2 3 plus, or you know, what we call HER2 positive breast cancer. These antibody drug conjugates appear to work well in people with advanced disease that is metastatic disease or stage four disease that is HER2 low. And this is a recent development in a trial called the DESTINY-4 trial, where a clear benefit was seen. This is really a practice-changing clinical trial because of the benefit seen in this particular type of breast cancer, HER2 low breast cancer, that, as I said, is about 50% of breast cancers. So, so this is really important in people with advanced disease, and the drug is approved for people where it's not their first therapy, but they've had one therapy and they're now moving to second or subsequent lines or courses of chemotherapy. What often happens in breast cancer research is that we then move the drug into earlier stage disease, but we start in metastatic disease because we can actually see the disease. And people with earlier stage, we don't even know if they need treatment, so we have to follow thousands and thousands of people to see if there's a benefit of a particular treatment over the best available treatment. So that takes a while. You may want to check out our video on how we determine or discover new treatments for breast cancer.
I hope this has been helpful. Drop a comment or question below. Please be kind. We will get back to you in the next one to two weeks. And don't forget to subscribe. You can also like this video so more will show up for other people just like you who have the same questions. They're more likely to see it if you like it. Thanks so much for watching.